Hey, would you be able to do a video on the pros and cons of a concrete slab foundation? I can't seem to get over the fact that the plumbing is built into the slab, so it would be a nightmare to redesign or repair if you had any issues. Great question, I'm standing on a perfectly flat site, ready for a concrete slab. Let's have a look at the difference between timber versus concrete. I think the first thing to point out is that we can do both and it really depends on your site, your design and what you're trying to achieve. So concrete slabs are probably the predominant foundation that we are using and putting down in a subdivision like this and on the majority of our new builds. In saying that we can use timber subfloors as is a case by case thing. A decision like that will get decided at the design phase and if your site is nice and flat like this it's really easy to come in and put in a concrete slab. It's really nice and low to the ground. It's strong. In one fell swoop, you've put in the foundation, but you've also put in the flooring that you can then build the rest of the house on. As opposed to like if your site's sloping and we're gonna then build a floor out, we've gotta put in piles or we've gotta put in a block wall and then we've gotta fill it up. And so whenever it's sloping, we'll recommend timber piles or a mix of a concrete slab and the flat parts and timber piles. Let's go to the next site where I'll continue talking about that. See you, Jared. If you haven't already, go ahead, click subscribe. Let's go. What about the sill? Let's have a look at this. Check this out. We've added a garage onto the old house. New internal access even. Very, very custom made door. Laundry dog. This is under the stairs. Right here we're on the concrete slab and this is the lowest you can put the slab and then right here is the timber piles and that's because you've got to allow for the joists and the bearers and then you've got to have a clearance. On this site here we've got three buildings, they're all on timber driven piles down to good ground, we had to drive piles down about three metres. We've done a mixture of timber floors and we've done a mixture of concrete slabs. So the reason this is on timber, because this is the existing house, so that would be one benefit of timber subfloors. It's easy to pick up and move if you have to, but let's face it, how often do you move a house? At the end of the day, a concrete foundation is faster, it's a more cost effective solution. It means that you walk onto a flat finished surface ready to build on. It's solid, it's durable, it's fireproof. There's a reason it's more common in New Zealand at the moment and it's standing the test of time. Don't get me wrong, timber floors have been around for hundreds of years, but concrete is essentially like an old school version of flooring that goes back 2000 years. There's lots of pros and cons to both solutions. It's something that you need to resolve at design phase. Talk to your designer, talk to your builder, work out what your specific site needs. 